happy and a more vibrant day. Myself, Sushmita Sahu, and I'm going to take fun with magnets of class 6, lesson 13, with reference to NCRT. A very interesting topic, isn't it? Magnets. We have played with magnets, and at that age, we used to find it so fascinating. Uh, I'm sure you all might also be playing with magnets and finding it fascinating, aren't you? So if you like my channel, kindly subscribe for it, and don't forget to press the bell icon. So let's start with magnets. So here on the screen, you can see different type of magnets. Before that, everybody knows that magnet attracts iron, isn't it? We all know and that is why we find it very fascinating. And this is a non-contact force. The magnetic force is a non-contact force. Without coming in contact, it is uh, attracting something towards it. And here on the screen, you can see magnets. Some magnets are straight, some are in U-shape. The U-shaped magnets are called horseshoe, say, horseshoe magnets and the straight magnets are called bar magnets. Another thing, if you have got a very strong mind, you might be seeing everywhere on each and every magnet, it's NS, NS written there. N means North Pole, S means South. So every magnet has a North and a South. This much I'm sure you might be getting it, seeing the diagrams of magnet and never miss whenever you draw a magnet you have to put north and south there don't miss it it's very important so now let's have an interesting story of a magnet how magnet was discovered there was a shepherd named magnus who lived in in ancient greece he used to take his herd to of sheep and goats to the mountain and he used to carry a, um, a stick with him a, uh, with a small iron attached at one of the end one day he was very surprised. He was trying to pull his stick and it was uh, getting attracted towards one of the rock. He had to pull hard to free his stick from the rock. Now it seemed as if the stick was being attracted by the rock. The ra rock, what was the rock? The rock was a natural magnet and it attracted the iron tip of the shepherd's skin, stick. It is said that this is how natural magnets were discovered. Such rocks were given the name magnetite, perhaps after the name of the shepherd. The magnetite contains iron. Some people believe that magnetite was first discovered at a place called Magnesia. The substance having the property of attracting iron are known as magnets. This is how the story goes. Now let's see. Magnets and uh, non-magnets. What is magnet? Magnet are those till the knowledge we have. The, till the, um, is that what attracts the iron and it always has a so north and south pole. Now there is another uh, property of magnet or of uh, 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 all the magnets be it U-shape or be it bar. It has pole, north and south pole. When the same poles, they come together, they repel each other. You can feel this if you have the magnets with you. They repel each other. They go ara tera, but they don't come closer. That is if N and N comes together, North Pole, North Pole comes together, they will not come together. They will repel each other. Similar is with the case with South Pole. They will repel each other. But when North and South, they come together, they attract each other. On the screen you can see with the first two, the force is in the opposite direction while as in the last two, the force is in the same direction. That is they are attracting each other. So these are the properties of uh, magnets. Here on the screen there are properties of magnets. Magnets att attract iron objects. We all know the force of attraction of a magnet is greater at its pole than in the middle. Light pole of two magnets repel each other opposite pole attract each other. So these are the properties of magnets. Now there's one another very interesting property of magnet. If you take a magnet and freely ha ha hang it, you will see that it always stops in the same direction. You rotate it, you twist it, you do anything. If you do it constantly say 10, 20 times, you will understand that it always comes to stand still in a same direction. Do you know one more thing? That earth is also a very big magnet. So guess which pole will be pointing where? Because there are two magnets, the earth and the um, 
magnet a freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in a particular direction which is the north south direction a great use was made of this in a magnetic needle like we used we find direction this uh, the property of magnet this property of magnet was very 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 useful for us for centuries travelers have been making use of this property of magnet to find directions in olden days travelers used to find direction by sus suspending natural magnets and nowadays we have the needles now you can make your own magnets also children do you know that how see you take a magnet and you put a iron bar or something next to it uh, for say a long period say 12 12 hours 10 hours after some time the thing with the sus which is in contact with magnet also starts acting as a magnet but that will be only for some time like you might have seen by that when you take a magnet and usse ek pin pakadte ho to wo pin bhi dusri pin ko hold kar leti hai that is that pin has also got the properties of magnet this way you can make your own magnet but for a very little while and now we have to make uh, we have to see that we uh, this property of magnet it also it loses its property also when we heat a magnet we hammer it or we drop it from the height the magnet loses it loses its property so children have fun with magnets keep enjoying with magnets and you really need to have some experiment with magnets it's fun have fun take care bye